How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Lies of P. So in the last episode, we made it to the second Stargazer in Barren Swamp. But first off in this episode, we're going to go talk to Aladuro. Because uh, Eugenie gave him, or had us You're a worthy hunter, give him something. And it is worthy prey. Show that swamp monster what you're capable of. What's this? A gift for a rescuer. From a technician girl. Hmm, I don't remember. I've saved so many of the common people. Anyway, uh, thank her, I suppose. Oh. <coughs> oh dear. These gloves are a mess. They don't even fit. Is this a practical joke? My God, I never did like that girl. She's just like him. Oh, never mind. I thought you had better taste than this. How disappointing. Get these rags out of my sight. What a dick. You're a worthy hunter, and it is worthy prey. Show that swamp monster what you're capable of. All right, Aladuro. Not sure about you, dude. So let's go back to uh, to the hotel and see what Eugenie has to say. I'm sure, she's gonna be like, "Oh, did you give him the gloves?" And we're gonna be like, "Yeah." Alright. Hey, about my request last time. Mm -hmm. Did you give Ali Doro the gloves? Phew. Even the union's advancement test didn't make me this nervous. All right. I'm ready. Tell me the truth. Yeah. Did the gloves make Ali Doro happy? Sorry. This is the, uh, the lies playthrough, Eugenie. So. Really? What a relief. I'm confident in my weapons, but it was my first time making gloves, so I was a little nervous. Okay, more than a little. Gloves seemed a logical gift, because I know he lost a finger. I was there, after all. When the workshop tower collapsed, the Hound lost a finger saving me. We could have starved to death trapped under the rubble if it wasn't for the Hound's sacrifice back then. I, I don't want to think about it. And yet I can't forget it. I will never repay that sacrifice, even if I spend my whole life trying. But I'm going to start now. Thanks. I was too shy to give such a gift to him myself. Speaking of gifts, I got something for you. Take it with my thanks. Fire bracelets. Okay. You feel warmth. You know what? Let me try this uh, respect gesture again. So I'm thinking potentially when we used it before in the, uh, in the statue, of, uh, the statue of mercy or whatever it was called, um, that was essentially a projection of Sophia. So let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. Got a reaction out of her. Nice. Awesome. Didn't get any sort of message or anything. Like you feel warmth or anything. But uh it's all good, we got a reaction. Alright, so plan for this episode obviously is to push deeper into Baron Swamp. From the second Stargazer on. So here we go. Good old swamp. Okay. Um, so, let's see what this lovely place has to offer. Oh, good, more cannons. 
is that? Okay, it's up above there. So, that will obviously be the priority here. Let's go. Oh my god, there's a puppet of the future over there. Oh crap. Butterflies and everything over here. All right, where? Oh, right here. Oh shit! <laughs> Can't get in there. Oh no! No, stop! Not going for that item right now. We're get smashed in the face. That. Two puppets of the future over here. Jesus. This is a fun area already. And those little crawling puppets are. Another butterfly? Or crawling puppets are relentless. Amazing how uh, strong like little half crawling puppets can be. Fancy Vanini collection. Okay, that's probably going to expand uh, Pulcinella's shop. I have to think how to pronounce that name because it's not exactly a name that rolls off the tongue. I wonder how you get in this tower here. Take out that cannon. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back here after and clear out all this crap. Yes, no, you you going back or what are you doing? Come on. Probably is the intended path. Probably have to uh, go around and up the tower, I'm assuming. Taking over the post. The rest of the same. Where the rocks when entering the ravine. Carcasses, whatever they call these guys. No fire does better against these guys, but let's keep my pizza cutter on for now. It's a shortcut for later. Looks like there's a stargazer in there. 
So this this kind of reminds me of like the Swamp of Sorrow from uh, Demon Souls. With all the wooden rickety structures, stuff like that. People always hated uh, World 5, but uh, honestly, I hated the, my most hated world in that game was 4-2, because there was not a shortcut. So if you if you need if you died to the boss, you had to go all the way back. It was pain in the ass. this guy up here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that did not do mu as much damage as what I thought it would. Yeah, people always hated World 5, but... I mean, yeah, it was... Uh, it was annoying because of the swamp and everything, but... I mean, obviously, in the... In the remake, yet... Oh, God. You had, uh... Sodom Ring to help with moving through the swamp. So, if you played the original, I can certainly see why you would use World 5, because that item did that ring didn't exist in the original game, so probably why people hated it so much. Guess I'm spoiled in that regard. a hundred percent gonna break and let me tumble to my death which is kind of dirty I can see it like you know over like another you know, area down below but break and let you fall to your death kind of shitty so honestly this game is getting really dirty with the traps Snipers with your spit, Jesus. <laughs> you guys, you guys on the uh, the Olympic team for uh, synchronized combos, Jesus. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Weapons that if you straight block it and not perfect guard, it's gonna like knock you back. They're trying to like knock you off and shit. Alright. 
Need some shortcut. Shiny over here. Deal with the uh, and the bridge over here. But first, let me see what's up here. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. It's uh, it's like the way forward. Let's get this chest over here. Blow you up, buddy. <laughs> Figures. Dude decides to do half the patrol of the bridge. It's gotta be one of those tougher ones, yeah. This one's not just a basic bitch. Combos. Damn. All right. Let's see what's in this chest over here. Better be something good. Oh, hello? Stop that. No. Saw that guy hanging there before and I honestly completely forgot about him. Should have thrown something at him from up above and let him fall to his death. Alright, so we get another Legion Caliber. I'm wondering if uh, you actually get enough of those to fully max out all the arms. Which I hope. I mean, that would be pretty awesome. Or if you gotta wait. There's a certain number in each playthrough and you gotta do the rest in New Game Plus, which... Honestly, it would kind of suck, but hoping that we have enough materials to buy all the Legion arms and get all the upgrades for them. But, I mean, that could be something to incentivize, you know, New Game Plus, so we shall see. What's up here? Oh. It's like, uh... Like fun up in here. It's another chalice dungeon. The rolling balls of death. Which I think is pretty funny that the <laughs> the rolling balls of death are just a massive amalgamation of puppets all together. I guess it's kind of like the, uh, like from Dark Souls 3, like the big, like, <laughs> it's a big, huge, like, skeleton balls that are, like, rolling through the catacombs. Kind of the same concept. Oh! That's gotta hurt. Oh. 
Not today, sir. Not today. Today was not your lucky day. Oh, really? <laughs> this is gonna end badly. Presently, got it. Go, go, go. Nope. Running by you. No. Oh. Nope. Nope. Ah. Damn it. Trying to see what was down there. life in this place. More butterflies. Lights changing. Alright, after this next one I'm gonna run up there. Deaths are not making me mad, they're just comical, honestly. Let's get this. Their butterfly. Where is it? Maybe up here. Uh, I'm thinking this. Don't call me crazy, but I'm gonna go back down. Girl. It's gonna be. It's 
gonna end very badly. Guaranteed. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. No! Oh, there go my souls. Got it. Oh my god. Uh, oh. <laughs> Thought I was safe there. Well, good thing is, I think we got all the butterflies. That thing is, I think I lost like half of my ergo. Oh well, it's what it is. I mean, at least I don't lose it all. Oh, I'm death. But for now, for those that don't know, you don't lose it all completely on death, but you lose about half of it, and then um, I think you think each time you die, you lose about half. I mean, you can use those like iron protection and emergency protection things to help out with that. Thanks. the stagger. Ow. Damn. Right, come on, Mr. Bang. Looking at the time, guys, I think we should call the episode here, and we will continue through Baron Swamp in the next one, so hopefully you're all doing well. Hopefully you enjoyed.
stay tuned. More coming at you.